hell of a player, you know. And he maybe doesn't get the appreciation that yeah. his career should get. Today is the top 10 Premier League assists. Um, it's not really our specialist subject, this one. Uh, yes, right. but without them, we couldn't do our job. No, I I'm, I'm absolutely love the people yeah. that do these things, yeah. but um, you, you'd have had a lot of assists though, as well. Yeah, it's quite it? a few, yeah. yeah. Um, I obviously much preferred scoring them, but yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mind now and again going out wide and whipping a ball in. Yeah. I, think we've I mean, said it before. I must say, the one shift in the way we kind of conceptualise um, football games and stuff now and um, analyse everything is that the people that get assists, yeah. they get noted. Now, if you, you could go and look back at any player from my generation and you will never find a number of assists. It just won't exist mm. because it wasn't a thing. No one ever gave you any credit for knocking a ball into someone's <laughs> path or squaring it. It wasn't like that. Really? But, yeah, really. So when did assists become a thing? And that's what I was going to say. Does anyone know when assists started to be... I don't know. It's, I think it's become more of a thing um, in the last 10, 15 years. Maybe it's because of fantasy football. Maybe, Maybe it's because yes. of that, because you get points, obviously, for people. I mean, I don't... So. We, we, we've got kind of, you know... we. Interesting. It all my boys play. Fan. I know you're madly keen on Love fantasy it. football, but it's yeah. He it's... did used to say that when he was young, if he didn't score, yeah, but I set a couple up. Set a couple up. Yeah, that's, that. what, we, that's, that's what we used to say, in, didn't we? In, in, in fact, the term assist. I, that, that's a relatively new phenomenon, isn't it? Yeah. Can you? Yeah, can it you wouldn't. Uh, I know what I'd much prefer to do, but there are some yeah. players who get more joy from setting I, someone I refuse, else. I refuse that. I f refuse to believe that. That's actually Peter true. Well, Peter Beardsley would, but I still think even he would. Um, I mean, he still scored his fair share of goals. I, 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 um, I need to ask him next time I speak yeah. to him um, to see whether that's true. But I think publicly they'll always say, "Oh, it gave me just as much a pleasure to assist as score." Mm, didn't me? Really? Yeah, no. Chance. Really? It's nothing quite like yeah. scoring the putting the ball on the back of the net. Especially back in those days when Peter yeah. Beardsley played, it was out. You know, our era, kind of between the two, where you, you know the. People would say that was a great pass for the goal, but no one would say, with an assist and you've got this, this data and this analysis and these numbers on your career that, yeah, you, you know. Who's you go on Wikipedia for anyone in my generation, you, the, nowhere will you see assists. Who, who set up Aguero's first goal? What do you mean his first goal? First goal in... In, in the in, Premier League? For Manchester City. Who got the first assist? I, it's I a know simple that. question. That was Michael oh, Richards. Inter oh, interesting. <laughs> Who set up Jekyll's first goal in, the, in the FA Cup? Just going in the FA point. Cup? <laughs> well, this is BBC. We do FA Cup, don't this we? Is, this is Premier I mean, League show. This it, is top it, 10 it doesn't Premier matter. League. We go where we want. This is top 10. I know this is on the assist, but no one gives a fly <laughs> about your assist, Michael. <laughs> Congratulations, though, on having two assists in your career. Uh, uh, what was the top in the season? A six or seven, I think? Really? From fullback. Well, I think that's pretty whip, good. Were you good at whipping it in? No, I couldn't cross. I was more a pullback kind of guy. Knock it back to Just the edge of the 18-yard box back for it. someone. Like, yeah, Messi would have appreciated you. Exactly. You? Like, yeah, you, you were basically you were a, like a better Jordi Alba. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on. Before we go any further, did you just say Messi would have appreciated you? <laughs> We got Messi in the same conversation. <laughs> Micah Richards had assists. Olivier Giroud. Oh, yeah, it was just a team goal, wasn't it? The, the, oh, the that's right. Well, moving. he was involved twice, wasn't he? Against Norwich. There was like a double one-two with Jack Wilshire. Wilshire. Yeah. Norwich, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, think it won, I think it won goal of the season, didn't it? Um, that, I'm pretty sure it did. And um, But the, the little flick, the, uh, the second one-two yeah. was, was superb, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was magnificent. A Wilshire, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. The thing is that they actually meant that, though. Yeah. You remember when Arsenal was doing yeah. that? Beautiful football. Yeah. He's a uh, funny player, Olivier Giroud, in many ways, isn't he? And I don't say he's a funny player in the fence, he's not like... He's, he's the player that everyone un <laughs> underrates. I mean, he's had an amazing career, very long career, very successful Still, career, yeah. scored goals, won a World Cup, is the top scorer ever for France. And I know all records are being broken now <laughs> because the way European football is broken up, you play lots of weak nations. But it's still a remarkable statistic. He went past um, Thierry Henry. Um, 
And he had these moments of, of, of magic, that, that particular double one-two. And obviously the, what was it, the scorpion, what yeah. they call yeah, it? Like kind of that ridiculous that goal yeah. um, that, that won awards. Hell of a play, you know? Yeah, unbelievable, yeah. Um, I totally understand and, and agree with what you're saying. He maybe doesn't get the appreciation that yeah. his career should get. Still, uh, still playing, isn't he? At Milan. Although I will say, whenever the topic of Giroud comes up, everyone always says he doesn't get the credit he deserves. So that perhaps means that by saying that, he, he is getting the credit. No, but you wouldn't yeah. say... If I said to you, France all-time top yeah. goal scorer, yeah. you wouldn't say Giroud, would you? Unless you uh, follow football. Well, unless yeah. you knew that he'd scored more than Thierry Henry, yeah. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to say. He, he, he knows what I mean. I know, yeah, I'm he sorry. Did. Okay, if he wasn't in football and someone said to you Giroud was a top goal scorer for France yeah. ever, mm. Mm, you yeah. wouldn't believe it, would Not you? Well, you'd say Thierry Henry. Well, he, he won't be the top scorer for that long, will he? Because no, a certain Mbappe will storm <laughs> past him at some point. I'm pretty sure of that. But um, he's had a fabulous career. Thank you for watching. Listen and subscribe to Match of the Day Top 10 on BBC Sounds. And to be the first to see more from us, right here, subscribe to the BBC Sounds YouTube channel.